Hi guys, this is Benjamin here and welcome into this new training video series on the common FAQs when it comes to email marketing using solo ads. Now, the reason why I decided to come up with this training series is because I do understand that a lot of you guys might have tempered before with solo ads and have gotten your hands burned. What I mean by that, simply put, you have lost money when purchasing solo ads. And from there, you don't trust solo ads, you know, you start to give up on this entire trade, so and so forth. So in this entire training series, I'm going to use real life questions posted by real humans on different forums such as Quora and Udemy. Now, if you guys look at this particular question over here, all right, um, this fellow has posted on the Udemy forum and said, I spent nearly $2,000 on solo ads with zero earnings. All right, and then if you scroll down a little bit more, you will see things like another fellow said, I've got the same issue. I spent huge amount of money here with extremely qualified sellers with huge sales done, but in my case, no sales. So I was wondering if these sales badges are true. If this is something that rings a bell or resonates with your own experience, let me tell you, this is not something that is rare, even in today's market. The reason is because a lot of people have been misled that solo ads is the fastest and easiest way to make money online. That is totally not true. Solo ads is the fastest and easiest way to build up your email list. It does not mean it's the fastest and easiest way for you to make money online. That's a totally different story. And if you guys have actually followed some of my previous tutorials before, as you can see on the tag over here, I stress it many times. Even though you see a lot of YouTube videos saying that the money is in the list, that's totally not true also. Because the real money is in the buyer's list. Now, why is it possible that someone has spent thousands of dollars and yet getting no sales? There are two common reasons for that. Reason number one, they have chosen the wrong offer. Reason number two, they did not set up their email marketing system properly, thereby their emails are not landing into the inbox of their subscribers or they are not sending the correct emails. In order for me to explain to you guys in details, what do I mean by they have selected the wrong offer? Let me use an example of Warrior Plus. Now from here, I'm in munchi.com. As you guys can see, again, if you have watched several of my previous tutorials, you should be pretty familiar with this interface by now. What happens is a lot of people, when they choose offers, they will see things like, oh, Kronos, $13 at 100% commission. Wow. That means every sales I make, I make $13 per sales because it's 100%. This one is only 50%. This one is, uh, let, let me choose another one from Warrior Plus. Yeah, this one is just 50% from Warrior Plus. You know, this one is 50% as well. No, I want something that's 100%. So what happens then is they'll just blindly go ahead, click on this offer. Now, I'm not saying this offer is not good. I'm just using an example here. All right, so they'll click on it. And then from there, they'll start to apply for their affiliate link and go ahead and promote this thing. Guys, that is not a way to choose an offer. Ask yourself a very simple question. How often do you even read or I would say go through in details the sales page of that particular offer that you are trying to promote. If you are in the make money online niche, please understand that your front end sales price point cannot, should not exceed $20. That's number one. Number two, when you are going through the entire sales page copywriting, ask yourself if you were someone suffering from shiny object syndrome, if you are someone who likes to collect all these low price courses, thinking that the more you collect, the more money you will make, are you tempted to purchase this product? Are you tempted to purchase this offer? Now, you have to put yourself into the shoes of somebody who really know very, very basic information or even close to nothing about making money online. But when they see the sales page, they read the copywritings, they go through the testimonials, they see how well structured the entire sales page is, you know, plus all the various many different results that you can get like thousands of dollars by just investing to a $13 cost. Ask yourself, are you tempted to purchase? If your answer is yes, that is the correct offer to promote. Now, speaking of which, at this juncture, you might be wondering, Ben, but most of these courses don't deliver real value, don't they? Now, my answer is yes and no. It really depends on the vendor. But I will say yes, you are right. The majority of these courses, unfortunately, don't deliver real values. Why am I still asking you guys to promote them? The reason is very simple. We are trying to sift out, all right? We are trying to segment 
within this entire bulk of traffic that goes into our squeeze page and it opted in, and from there they landed into our email autoresponders list, who are the ones that are really willing to take out their credit card or their PayPal information to make a purchase versus those who are just on your list waiting for you to send them some free information. Now, guys, this is a business. We have to be practical. We have to be realistic about it. Because I mentioned not just once, but several times in all my different training videos, the real money is in the buyer's list. So from there, once you accumulate a sizable amount of your buyer's list C, all right, just in case you guys don't understand what I'm saying, you can always refer to the end of this video whereby I will show you different links to all my different trainings from there. All right. So let's say you've accumulated a sizable amount of subscribers in your buyers list C, that is where you are going to promote them certain mid ticket to form up your buyers list B and from there promote high ticket to promote high ticket offers to form your buyers list A. Because when you are trying to really educate your subscribers on the real value when it comes to making money online, all right, guys, this is something that you have to understand, you have to acknowledge and you have to accept. Most, if not all, internet marketers who are successful today, at one time or another, have paid, have invested into proper mentorship. And most of them into one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Of course, I do understand all this one-on-one -on -one mentorship is not cheap. Definitely, because you must understand, when you engage into a one-on-one -on -one mentorship with someone, this person is sharing with you his or her years of experience, years of failures, and giving you guys so-called the shortcut method to making it online. It will not be cheap. If you are the mentor, all right, you have, go through, you have gone through all these things, you have gone through all the hurdles, you have invested and even wasted tens of thousands of dollars on different methods, different strategies taught by this person, by that person, eventually you formulate out the one that really work. Will you charge it at a nominal price of just $13 or $20 or $100 for that matter? I seriously doubt so. All right, so this is the reason number one, select the correct offer. Reason number two, when it comes to setting up your entire email marketing system, what is the point of accumulating a sizable email list? Because we need to embark into proper email marketing. We need to ensure, end of the day, the emails land into the primary inbox. If not, at worst, the promotional inbox, but lessen the probability of it going into the spam inbox. However, based on my own observation, whenever I enroll new students and I check their email autoresponders or their entire setup, I can tell you guys there's even still a significant proportion of students who do not understand the importance of getting your own domain to send out the emails. They're still using Gmail. They're still using Yahoo. All right, now, guys, coming February 2024, this, all these emails that you send out is definitely not going to land into the inbox of subscribers. So the more emails you accumulate, you're just wasting all this money. All right, guys, so don't even think about building up your bias list C or B or A because none of your emails are going to land into the correct inboxes of your subscribers account. Okay, guys, so in terms of how to really set up your entire email marketing system, that is where you can refer to all the different training videos towards the end of this training video. All right, I'm going to share with you all the different links. Now, if you guys really want to understand the in-depth knowledge of how to succeed with email marketing, you can always refer to all my different mentorship programs in the links below this video in the description box. All right, I have three different levels of mentorship program, the Beginners Club, the Star Club, and even the Inner Circle. The one that I usually update on the latest converting offers are within all my Inner Circle members. All right, as you guys can see over here, I will give all the first-hand access to all converting offers and latest strategy. This is based on my own testing. Because guys, I am still doing email marketing until today, all right? And in the foreseeable future, I do not expect that I will stop my email marketing any point in time, no matter how challenging or how dynamic that environment can be. 
Because end of the day, all we need to do is just to adjust to the environment and we can still make the more money, all right, the same amount of money or even more money in time to come. All right, now, not just in terms of email marketing, I also talk about things like paid advertising, social media marketing, launching your very own digital program to build up your passive income all within the inner circle. Now, due to budget constraint, if you want to, you can always go into the beginners club or the star club as well. So the star club is a one week group Zoom session. Inner circle, one on one, perpetually. All right, please look at this thing. Perpetually, until you achieve a minimum of 5,000 USD profits yeah, for consecutively three months. Okay, that means to say you're going to work with someone like myself perpetually, forever until you achieve a minimum of 5,000 USD profit for consecutively three months. That is the promise I give to my inner circle, which is not available in the Star Club, definitely not available in the Beginners Club as well. For the Star Club, it is a one-week group Zoom session of minimally 60 minutes, all right? And I do this on every Sunday, 12 p.m. Singapore time, which is GMT plus eight. For the Beginners Club, now this is where you're gonna assess all the training videos. Okay, all the training videos that the Star Club will enjoy, Inner Circle member will also enjoy. All right, it's the same set of training videos. Now, from there, if you decide to enroll, if you click on this, within the Beginners Club Mentorship Program, if you want to even save more time, we also have a one-time offer of $97, whereby we are going to set up for you five squeeze pages templates, 45 days of email automation, as well as complete integration of all your different softwares. All right, so from... You can use GetResponse, you can use Aweber, you can use lead pages, you can also use Optin Dojo. All right, so these are all the different things that we will do for you within the Done For You program. There are also people who ask me, Ben, can I go for the $7 first? Subsequently, then go for the $97. Unfortunately, no. Now, when I say this is a one-time offer, even within the members area, I do not provide any form of link to have this $97 one-time offer for the Done For You program. I hope this particular question has allowed me to address to most of you guys who have ever been bitten before because of solo ads. From there, please understand, solo ads is definitely the easiest and fastest way to build email list. All right? Even though it's not the easiest and fastest way to make money online compared to paid advertising, but for those of you guys who have certain limited budget constraint, solo ads is definitely the easiest way to do so. All right? So I'll see you guys in the next FAQ whereby we're going to delve deeper into different questions when it comes to different forums. See you there. Hi there, guys. Welcome to How to Make Money with Solo Ads, FAQ 2. Now, in yesterday's video, I received a very interesting question from one of my subscribers. As you guys can see from the screen over here, this is my video yesterday that I posted for Common FAQ 1. All right. Now, over here, one of the subscribers asked me this question. Hi, may I ask what is the average conversion rate to sales for the Make Money Online niche today in solo ads? I'm checking the links in the description related to buy solo ads traffic. I didn't find that info in the links or you can add it in the common FAQ video series. And what is the average conversion rate to sales for the Make Money Online niche? Also for other evergreen niches in solo ads. Now guys, before I attempt to answer this question, I just want to explain to you guys this is not a question that can be explained just via one video training. However, what I'm going to do is to break it down into different parts of how exactly I monitor this conversion rate together with my Inner Circle member students. So if you are interested to really master email marketing, you can always refer to my mentorship program below. I have the Beginners Club, Star Club, as well as Inner Circle Mentorship Program for you guys to take a look. Now, first and foremost, when it comes to solo ads conversion, all right. Now, if you're talking about a make money online niche, all right, let's not talk about other niches for now. For the make money online niche, you have to first and foremost ask yourself, are you referring to the raw list conversion rate, the bias list C, bias list B, or the bias list A conversion rate? Now, guys, in one of my previous training series, I already mentioned that if you guys really want to succeed in solo ads, you have to use the software all right, our third-party tracking software, which again, I'll leave a link in the description box below this video, in order for you to set up your entire buyer's email list. Like it or not, if you do not have access to all your buyer's email list, end of the day, you will realize that you it is very difficult for you guys to succeed with solo ads because I've tried it myself before. 
The only way to do so is to ensure that you have a huge amount of raw list. All right, a very huge amount of raw list. We're talking about 200,000, 150,000, you know, that kind of email list. So from there, with this huge amount of quantity, that is where you can blast out to all the low ticket offers and hopefully make some money from there. All right. Now, honestly speaking, if your email list is about 150 to 200,000, assuming that your list is still responsive, okay, on an everyday basis, even if you blast them with just those low ticket offers on Warrior Plus, you will still at least be able to make a couple of hundred dollars every single day. That is definitely of no issue. All right, I'm talking about minimally a couple hundred dollars every single day. However, if you really want to make good money with solo as traffic, all right, this is where the real money is in all your buyers list. So when it talks about the raw list, okay, I will say that generally, if you guys have also watched some of my previous training video, I've mentioned that the minimum number of clicks that I would suggest you guys to purchase is at least 300. Now, why do I say that? Because let's say if your opt-in rate, all right, if your opt-in rate is 50%, five zero. Now with 50% opt-in rate, with 300 clicks that you purchase, that will mean 150 people have entered into your email to responder. Simultaneously, 150 people have already seen the single offer that you're trying to promote in your front end. Now with 150 hops, it is more or less a pretty decent number, I would say, all right, the minimum number to justify whether this offer is converting or not. So let's say with 150 hops, what I would expect to see is a minimum of three sales, all right, three sales. So it can be one single person purchasing the front end and two upsells. So that's also considered as three sales. I'm not referring to three different unique buyers. Of course, if you have three different unique buyers, that's even better. That means to say your buyers list C has already accumulated three person inside there. Okay, but if it's one single person that purchased two or three different upsells, that's where you'll see at least a three or four sales being justified. So from there, that is where I would think that this conversion rate is pretty decent. If you're talking about raw solo S traffic per se. However, if you're talking about buyers list C, Right again, bias DC. It depends on whether you are promoting them back to low ticket offers, or you are promoting them back to mid ticket offers. Now, when you're promoting bias DC to low ticket offers, your conversion rate can be as high as fifteen to twenty percent. All right. Again, it depends on the quantity of bias DC that you have. If you are promoting bias DC to all the mid ticket offers. But that is where it depends on how you draft the emails, how you draw the bridge pages, so and so forth, in order to increase your conversion rates. The same goes for bias list B, and the same goes for bias list A. Now, next, whenever I do testing, one of the things that I want to see is, is my RPC more than $2? When I'm talking about RPC, is revenue per click. Of course, if you, can, you cannot be using this RPC more than $2 within your raw email list. All right, it does not justify that especially when you're running pure traffic, all right? So at this juncture, if you guys are already getting confused, that's why I'm saying it is not easy to explain this question in just one single video about solo S conversion rate, all right? It is something that I do it on a regular basis. In fact, on a weekly basis, perpetually, with my own inner circle members until they really can master the intricacies of email marketing using solo ads. Next, testing of offers. Now, this is also something very important because let's say, for example, if you are running 300 clicks or 300 clicks, with opt-in rate again of 50%, you barely have 150 hops. So a lot of people, when they test offers, when they watch different YouTube videos, that's where they, they think that it is good to place two or three different offers in the rotators and rotate the offers. That is not the case. You see, I already mentioned every single offer, you need at least 150 to 200 hops to justify whether the offer is converting. However, if you are testing an offer and you put now there are two different offers with the same 300 clicks, 150 hops, every offer barely has about 75 different exposure. This number cannot justify whether this offer is converting or not. Definitely it can't, all right? Now, next will be the email list to CTR. Now, this is where a lot of people are getting confused. You see, when you are purchasing clicks from a solo S vendor, all these vendors like myself, we have a huge email list to justify the clicks. However, 
based on your email list, you got to ask yourself this question. Let me do a very numerical analysis for you. Assuming your email list is just 500 subscribers, right? From the soloist traffic that entered into your email to responder. We're talking about the raw list of 500 subscribers. Your click-through rates for every email that you send out is about 2%. 2% of 500 subscribers is barely 10 hops. Just 10 hops. So whenever you send out an email and then you don't see sales, then you start thinking that, hey, email marketing doesn't work. That is not the case because the reason is your email size is too small, my dear. It's too small. We are talking about solo S traffic per se, yeah? So with just 10 hops, I already said an offer need at least 150 to 200 hops to justify it. But you only have 10 hops. So how can you justify whether your email list is really working to give you the sales? Not enough, all right? But compared to if you have an email list of 100,000 in your raw list, 100,000, all right? Now, in this case, 2% of 100,000 is 2,000 hops, my dear. It's 2,000 hops. So that is why you notice that whenever email marketers like ourselves, when our list is big enough, we will usually put in different offers to rotate in our email list. Because we know that every single email that we send out, we can get close to a thousand or even two thousand clicks, or I would say two thousand hops to the offer. So from there, if we are testing offer, that's where we are putting different offers to test, making making sure that every single offer has the correct exposure out to give us the relevant conversions that we want to see. All right, guys. Now, so again, if we are talking about hundred thousand email leads, of course it is not cheap. Assuming a cost per lead is about one dollar. All right, let's say your cost per lead is $1. 100,000 email lists will mean that you have already invested 100,000 into building up this email list. So a lot of people will be thinking, wow, I need to spend 100,000 in order to succeed with email marketing using solo ads. Along the way, yes, no one is asking you to straight away pump up 100,000 and straight away build up email list like that. No, you see? So which is why I say solo ads is not the easiest and fastest way to make money online. But solo S is the easiest and fastest way to build up an email list, like what I stressed in my previous video. Okay? Now, if you do not have the budget for 100,000, then that is where even more you need this third party tracking software, which is called Opt in Dojo. All right? All you need to do is to scroll down all the way to the minimum. And from here, you will see these three different price points. Just go for the minimum $37 per month. All right? And this is on a monthly basis. If you have the budget to go for yearly, it just works out to be about $27 per month, but built annually. All right, guys? So if you really want to access Optin Dojo, please refer to the link in the description box below this video to start building up your buyer's email list. All right? So from there, if you're using my affiliate link to purchase this program, and you can always book a free complimentary Zoom session with myself for 30 minutes, I will run through with you your entire email marketing system. And I will also share with you how to best optimize Optin Dojo pertaining to your income target. Okay, guys, so feel free to comment in this video if you have any further questions pertaining to email marketing using solo ads. If not, I will see you guys in part three, whereby I'm going to start talking about different questions that has been posted in the Quora platform pertaining to email marketing using solo ads. See you there. Hi there, guys. This is Benjamin here, and welcome to How to Make Money with Solo Ads, Common Frequently Asked Questions, part three. In today's video, I'm going to explore with you guys one question that I saw in a Udemy forum, which to me is pretty interesting. As you guys can see from my screen over here, the question is, hey, buyers, are you using double opt-ins to prevent spam bots? So there are two concerns over here. Number one, what is double opt-in? And number two, what are spam bots? So let's address them one by one. And in this case, let's address the easier one first. What are spam bots? Now, spam bots are generally email addresses that do not belong to real human beings. They are bots that are meant to send unsolicited messages and attempting to spam your subscribers' inboxes. Having all these kind of spam emails will actually ruin your entire email list. All right? At the same time, that means to say you are not receiving real human traffic. When it comes to running solo as traffic, the third-party tracking software that we use we are able to filter out who are the spam bots. At the same time, if the spam control or rather the spam ratio is too high, we can even request a refund from the solo S vendors by giving them a screenshot that, hey, your spam ratio is kind of too high. I'm requesting a refund. For example, anything more than 10%, 15%, that is generally too high. If you guys look at here, the process flow will work generally like this. 
you purchase solo ads traffic or we'll say solo ads clicks into your squeeze page all right so that's where you provide the url of your squeeze page and in our case if you have been following my training we are going to provide the opt-in dojo tracking url all right so from there it will enter into your aweber list for those people who have opted in but however for double opt-in when all these email addresses enter into your aweber list they are not under a subscribed status they're under this thing called a pending status which also means when you're sending your email broadcast or your email automation messages all these subscribers under the pending status will not receive your emails at all until they have clicked in the link which is this confirmation email that's being sent on behalf of us by aweber so once they confirm this subscription then that is where their status will change from pending to subscribe and they will start to receive our emails. At one glance, it seems like having a double opt-in is definitely much better because that is where you're ensuring that you're really getting good responsive emails. Now, when it comes to really running MMO, which is make money online niche using solo ads traffic, I don't really agree with using double opt-in. The reason is very simple. Assuming your cost per click is 50 cents, all right so once let's say all these clicks run into your squeeze page and your squeeze page opt-in rate is 50 percent that means every two clicks will give you one lead so now your cost per lead is one dollar when it comes to running a business of course we are trying to reduce our expenses as much as we can within an acceptable parameter however if you're using double opt-in remember your cost per lead is already one dollar when Aweber is sending out all these emails on our behalf to ask these new baby infants subscribers to click on the link to confirm the subscription, assuming every three lead, only one of them click on it. All right, every three lead, one of them click on it. Now your cost per lead, instead of being $1, has been increased to $3. Okay, now, if you are doing this just because you are trying to reduce the spam bots, there's no need for any form of double opt-in. Let me show you guys a trick that you can do within your lead pages funnel setup, your funnel pages setup within lead pages. And this simple tactic will reduce your spam bots tremendously. Now, if you guys look at this particular design that we have done up for our newer students, all right, your automated cash machine is ready for activation. And if you have been following my training, this design for the squeeze page should not be unfamiliar to you. So on the left, you see, the moment when I click on this option, all right, and go into edit integrations, on the left, you will see things like the integrations, the fields, and actions. Under integrations portion, there's actually this thing called enable spam or bot protection, which usually is being turned off. If you turn this thing on, that is where they will give you certain instructions, which is a step-by-step -step guide to recapture setup, at the same time, they also give you the link for the admin console to insert in this domain, to copy and paste this domain into your Google admin console. And from there, they will give you this thing called the site key and the secret key. Once you enter the site key and secret key, that is where your squeeze page will no longer just look like this. They will have a certain box over here, all right? A certain box, which I'm sure some of you guys have seen it before, which looks something like this. All right, I am not a robot. So this particular checkbox has to be ticked before they can even click on the enter. If not, this email will not even enter into your email autoresponder, in our case, Aweber. So this recapture checkbox is already enough for us to filter out all the spam bots. Next, the debate goes in terms of Ben, but if I will use double opt-in, it will definitely increase the responsiveness of my emails. I totally agree. But the big caveat here is, Remember my entire process flow, the front end offer that we are promoting is a low ticket offer. Low ticket offer, as low as possible, and bear in mind it must be below $20. If you can promote something that's $7, $3, $2, even better. If your question until now is, if I promote such a low ticket offer, I can't make money. That means you have not understood my entire process yet. The whole objective of the front end offer is to filter out those who are willing to spend versus those who are just on staying on the fence and having a wait and look attitude, or even worse, those who are just ready to be on your list to receive free information, or we call them the freebie seekers. So 
In this entire process for the front end, as well as when your emails is sending out to your raw list, we are always promoting just low ticket offers. And guys, low ticket offers are generally purchased on impulse. Like it or not, they are generally purchased on impulse. It's not just about the digital marketing world. If you ask yourself every time when you go out to shop, you know, stuff like that, and when, when you see things which are like just a few dollars and you, know, you don't mind spending it, you will just go ahead. You won't even think, all right? You won't even think like analyze, do I really need it? You know, uh, how am I going to consume this thing? What are the disadvantages? Come on, it's something that just costs you $7, less than the price of a McDonald's meal. Your brain will not even be conditioned to process that much information. You will just pay. Assuming it is something that is attractive enough to you. Am I right? So, end of the day, like what I said, we are just trying to filter out who are the ones who are willing to pay versus those who are the ones who are not willing to pay. That's it. So, is it really that important that your emails is very responsive at the very beginning to the extent that you increase your cost per lead to $3? No. Let me share with you guys my own personal experience. I don't use double opt-in at all for any of my email autoresponders. However, there are two things that I do. Number one, I engage with my email list very frequently and as well as I engage with them, sharing with them information that I know will benefit them, especially for my buyers list. Number two, I clean my email list regularly. So for those people who have not opened my emails uh, within a span of one month, all right, sometimes I even do it as stringent as within two to three weeks, I just erase away all these emails. And not just and it's not just a matter of erasing them away, I even put all these emails into my suppression list so that they will never ever enter into my email list at all, all right, in future, whenever I purchase new solo ads traffic. So this is how I gradually build up a quality responsive email list on my own. However, Think about it, huh? there are also people on my email list that have been pretty responsive, but it took them almost like six months to a year before they even purchased a $7 program. They are. But the moment when these people purchase their $7 program, the way they upgrade within my entire email list sequence from buyers list C to promote mid-ticket offers to form my buyers list B, and from there to promote high-ticket offers to form up my buyers list A, becomes pretty fast. So it's really not a matter of getting fast sales just because they are responsive. It is not like that. Of course, responsiveness is something that we use to test solo as vendors. However, in my opinion, so long as they are still responsive to some of your emails, especially your email automation messages and your email broadcast, which you can easily check from the statistics, all right, and they are not to the extent of totally irresponsive, then I would think that these subscribers are worth keeping. Okay, guys? If you are going to use double opt-in, there will be only one situation that I would seriously suggest you guys to do so. When you are running proper traffic from Google or Facebook to promote a high ticket offer via a webinar. That is the situation that you will really need some form of double opt-in. Because straight away, you are trying to promote high ticket offers. You are not going through the low ticket to the mid ticket to the high ticket first. You are trying to promote something that will cost your subscribers to pay at least like five thousand, six thousand, or even ten over thousand dollars of product or courses or what or softwares. All right, so you need this double opt-in to ensure that you are getting the real responsive emails, because you are trying to close them fast via the webinar. You want to attract only those people who are really interested in what you have to offer to attend the webinar. Even though I'm saying this, I'm still seeing a lot of content creators. They don't even use double opt-ins when they are trying to promote high-ticket offers. So seriously speaking, double opt-in is something that will definitely put you in the favor of email autoresponders, but it will increase your cost per lead tremendously. Another situation that I usually share with my inner circle members in terms of using double opt-in is by using a bridge page. If you construct a proper bridge page after the squeeze page, all right, to form up a bridge page then to the sales offer, it will help you a lot in terms of getting the double opt-in and as well as getting quality leads. All right? Now, I know that this method works, but I don't generally do that as well. Okay, There are only certain specific situations that I would use a bridge page. All right, guys, I hope that I've answered this question to you guys in terms of double opt-in, spam bots, you know, what are the certain techniques that you can use instead of using double opt-in to prevent spam bots, which is the recapture option, and why using a double opt-in can be detrimental in terms of a cost per lead, the advantages and the disadvantages, so and so forth. So now you yourself can decide whether double opt-in is a strategy that you really wish to adopt. See you guys in the next recording. Hi there, guys. Welcome to How to Make Money Using Solo S, Common Frequently Asked Question, Part 4.
In yesterday's video that I upload for the common FAQ 3, I received a very interesting question from one of my subscribers in the comment section saying that thanks for sharing very useful content. Can you also share your thoughts about engaging emails content that needs to be sent as follow up? And once your five to seven days email on current product is done, what to write to your buyers or opt-ins every single day? Now, if you guys have been following my training so far, you will know that we usually separate our list into things like the raw list, the buyers list C, buyers list B, as well as the buyers list A. All right. The way to promote mid ticket and high ticket offers, those are strategies that I will share only with my inner circle members. But in this YouTube video training, I'm going to share with you guys how to promote to low ticket offers. What kind of emails should you be sending? In order for me to explain to you guys what sort of emails should you be sending to low ticket offers, I would like to point your attention to one thing called email swipes that's provided by the vendors. So if we head over to muchi.com, let's check out this particular offer called Domainify at $17.50% commission by this guy called Saha. So click on that and let's go to the JV page. Now over here, for most of the well-designed JV pages, the vendors will actually provide some form of email swipes to you guys. So you can see this thing over here, this swipe link. Once you click on it, it will reach a launch document, which is a Google document. So scroll down, you will see this thing called high converting swipes. So let's open up this swipe file and take a look. All right, so the vendor has provided you certain headlines, which is a subject line, as well as different email body content. All right, so if you look at it, day one, uh, these are the different subject lines and the body content, you know, so and so forth. Not just on Warrior Plus platform, JVZoo, ClickBank, a lot of all these vendors will have their respective swipes to help you to embark with your email marketing campaigns. However, I personally do not use all these swipes. The reason is very simple, because for my case, I use the third-party tracking software to change, rotate, alternate different offers every time when I want to do so within the central command system, which is the software itself. So whenever I'm promoting low ticket offers, be it whether it's on an email broadcast basis or on an email automation basis, I do not use all these swipes because I do not want my emails to be restricted to just promoting this particular offer. The reason why I show you guys this email swipe, because according to the subscriber's question, it seems like he's promoting a particular offer for five to seven days. So it relates back to some of my previous students' experience when they always talk about five to seven days, they have gotten all the information from all these vendors' email swipes. Because most of the vendors will give like three, five or seven days worth of swipes. All right? Now, why do I not use all these swipes? Reason number one, imagine all the new email marketers are using the same subject line, the same email body content. How does it look like in the eyes of Gmail? Definitely it works into the promotional folder or even worse still the spam folder, unless your domain reputation and IP reputation is very, very high. Then it will land into the inbox of your subscribers. Secondly, most of these swipes are only catered pertaining to the offer itself. So when I want to change my offer, it becomes like the body content, the subject line and the offer that I'm promoting is no longer congruent. There is no breach between the body content and offer that I'm promoting. Number three, most of these email swipes in terms of the body content is very, very lengthy. Guys, do you know how many promotional emails our subscribers are receiving on a daily basis? Many of my US-based students are telling me that on an everyday basis, they receive at least 30 to 50 promotional emails from different affiliate marketers. Do you think that even if they open your email when they see such a lengthy grandfather, grandmother story, they are even interested to read the entire email? Definitely not. All right, just ask yourself that question. Would you actually go through the entire email body content? The next thing that I would like to point to this subscriber is when you're promoting the offer for five to seven days, my question is, have you accumulated the necessary number of hops to test this offer before you change it? For example, if your email list is just 1,000 people, all right, and your click-through rate on average is actually 2%. So for 2% of 1,000 people, Every single email that you're sending out, you get about 20 hops. So if every day you're just sending one email, over five days, you're just sending 100 hops, which is not enough to test whether the offer is working or not. Usually to test the offer, you need at least 150 to 200 hops. And that is assuming your CTR, which is your click-through rate, is at least 2%. 
What if your CTR is 1%? Then that is where you need to send even more emails in order to test whether this offer really converts. So what kind of emails do I really send when I promote low ticket offers? Now at this juncture, I would like to point your attention to all the description boxes within my videos. So if you were to scroll down all the way, you will see that I have this link for 16,000k worth of email swipes. So if you click on this link over here, it will bring you to this Warrior Plus offer by Matt Beckett. Now Matt himself is a multi-million email marketer, all right? And he's giving away a lot of his proven and tested email swipes for just a nominal price of $11.78. Let me show you guys what you will get after investing this sum of money. First and foremost, after you have made the payment, you will be able to download all these folders. And if you go over to 16K swipes plus bonuses, double click it, you will see 16K swipe as well as 5421 emails. So let's use the simpler one for me to show you guys as an example. Double click on it, you will see that these are all the different subject lines. You know, some of them are pertaining to certain products. Some of them are generic email swipes. Some of them are even swipes that you can use to send to your affiliates if you have your own product to promote and you want to send emails to your affiliates to promote your product for you. All right, so and so forth. Now, the ones that I use to promote low ticket offers are generally generic email swipes. So let me show you guys what I mean by a generic email swipe. For example, this particular swipe here. The subject line is hurry. Body content. Due to the nature of this, I don't expect it to be up there for long. It may be taken down today, so highly suggest hurry and look at it. Then followed by your link, best regards, followed by your name. As you can see over here, this body content is short, straight to the point, arousing curiosity. Even the subject line over here will also arouse curiosity for your subscribers to click on it and open the email. And when they see the body content straight to the point, it seems like there's something very urgent that I need to take a look. They will click on your field link and let the sales page do the job. Let me give you guys another example. All right. For this subject line is called private. So the body content is just wanted to make sure that you got my email from earlier today because soon we will be forced to select the next person in line. Please go here and listen. You can highlight this entire portion and put in your tracking link or your affiliate link, followed by your sign off. Third example, the subject line is special hits up. All right, I've been keeping this from the public, but I wanted you to get your hands on this before I'm forced to tell a few friends about it. So check this out fast, followed by your affiliate link, sign off. These three are just many of the generic swipes that you can find within Matt Beckett arsenal of email swipes at just a nominal price of $11.78 at this point in time. This kind of swipes, being short, straight to the point, and most importantly, arousing curiosity, happens to be the most effective kind of email swipes when you are promoting low ticket offers. Now, please bear in mind, our job as email marketers is not to sell the offer. The sales page job is to sell the offer. It's not our job. Unless you are doing things like, for example, a YouTube video like this, you know, whereby you can give more explanation in terms of why this particular offer will be good to assist you in your make money online journey. Like for example, I was explaining to you guys about Matt Becker's 16,000 email swipes. So you have gotten it. If you purchase it via my affiliate link, that is where I get my affiliate commission. All right, so you can do this kind of thing via YouTube videos, but on email marketing per se, when you're sending out all these mass emails to your subscribers list, having a long content is not going to help you at all because like what I say, they will not have the patience to go through your entire email. And that is where your click-through rates will end up going down very, very low. So in conclusion, to address the particular question of my subscribers, I will say a few things you need to take note of. Number one, how big is your email list size? Are you using the vendor's email swipes? If yes, I would suggest you change them to generic email swipes. Number two, when, whenever you are testing your offers, are you getting the necessary hops in order to test whether this offer converts or not? Number three, are you able to see the responsiveness of your email list? Not just via the statistics that you can see from different autoresponders, but also the statistics according to individual soloist vendors on how responsive their emails are. And finally, when you are testing a particular offer, what exactly is the parameter that you are using? Now, for my case, when I want to choose a certain offer or when I want to swap a certain offer, there are only two things I look at. Number one, the copywriting of the sales page. Is this something that entices me to buy if I were a complete beginner? 
Number two, the statistics. I let the statistics tell me what works and what doesn't work and not based on my gut feel or not based on the restrictions that the vendors are giving me in terms of the email swipes. All right, guys. So I'll see you in my next recording. And if you have any questions, please feel free to put on it in the comments of this video. And I'll see you there. Hi there guys, this is Benjamin here and welcome to How to Make Money with Solo Ads, Commonly Asked Questions Part 5. Yesterday alone, I received a total of 9 different questions from 2 different subscribers. Now first and foremost, thank you so much for your active participation. So in today's video, instead of going to different forums like Quora and Udemy to source out Commonly Asked Questions, I'm going to address all these 9 questions in today's training. The question number 1 is, how many leads must we have in our list? to create the first low ticket sales. Guys, in order to answer this question, there are three aspects that you must take care of. The first is how responsive is your leads in your list. The second is what is the kind of offer that you're trying to promote. The third is the kind of email subject line, the body content, as well as the frequency that you're sending out the emails. Are you sending them out once a week, once a day or whatsoever? So assuming you are following the correct guidelines whereby your emails are responsive, the kind of body content is correct and you're promoting to the right offer, you don't really need a lot of subscribers in order to get your first low ticket sales, especially when you're sending the right amount of frequency of emails to these subscribers, knowing how to engage them properly. I will say that if you have a subscribers of about just 500 to 600, you can get your very first low ticket sales almost immediately. The second question is, should we use or not to use double opt-ins to see the first sale? Again, this is not the correct question. To use or not to use double opt-ins is to reduce or increase your cost per lead in exchange for whatever leads that are more responsive at this point in time. But my question to you is, let's say you do not use double opt-ins. Is there any guarantee that this lead will never be responsive to your subsequent emails? But however, if you're using double opt-in, assuming this lead is busy at this point in time to even click on confirming your subscription to enter into your email list, you have literally no chance at all for them to see any of your email broadcasts or email automation subsequently that you wish to send to this list. All right. So my advice to you guys is if you want to reduce your cost per lead, do not use double opt-in. The third question is, how much time do we need to spend in this business? Which also correlates to the fourth question, how much investment is needed to spend into this business? To answer this subscriber, if your concern is just to get the very first sale, you don't really need much capital, you don't really need much time to do this business. But my question to you is, are you talking about getting your first sale or are you talking about getting your first profit? That's different, no? Because when you're running solo ads, most of the time, I would say 90% of the time, you will not be able to break even at the front end. It's usually the back end that gives you all the profits, especially once you accumulated your bias list C, B, and A. You see? So if you just want to get your first sale and you don't care about the profits, assuming, all you need to do is to find the correct offer, run the necessary amount of clicks. You don't even need a squeeze page. Because I do know of some solo ad vendors that are still accepting orders without having a proper squeeze page. All right. So from there, you can immediately get your first sale. As simple as that. But if you want to build a proper business out there, whereby every month you can have a sustainable income of at least 5,000 US dollars, when I'm talking about profits, yeah, not revenue, all right, profits of 5,000 US dollars, you need to set up your entire email marketing system properly. Things like getting your proper domain, authenticating your domains, Things like getting a proper squeeze page builder, bridge page builder, you know, which in our case we use lead pages, talking about getting the third party tracking software. Now, all this investment adds up, including your email to responder as a start, to not more than 120 US dollars per month. Because most of these are on a monthly recurring basis. All right. Including getting your domain, whereby the one that I would suggest for you guys to use is Bluehost. It works out to be barely about 35, 34 dollars per year which is on average about $3 per month, all right? So all this investment cost is not high when it comes to setting up an email marketing business compared to a typical offline retail business whereby you need to stand by at least tens or if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, including renovation, inventory, so and so forth. The next thing that I'd like to point out is, 
There are a lot of email marketers who still fail in this business, even getting all the necessary tools. Because like what I mentioned, email marketing is not just about emailing. It is a business. You need to understand the know-hows, the technicalities, including all the strategies in terms of how to create out a successful email marketing business. And that is where, by watching my YouTube videos, you already have a general perspective of how this business works. But to have an in-depth knowledge on how exactly we adopt all the strategies, you have to enroll into different mentorship programs out there in the marketplace, right? One of which will be my own mentorship program. The next question, what traffic is considered most converting to collect leads? Again, this is a very interesting question because when you're referring to converting, are you referring to the opt-in rate or are you referring to the responsiveness of the email leads or are you referring to converting into sales? Now, first and foremost, if you're talking about the opt-in rate, all right, it really does not depend on the traffic source. It really depends on your design of the squeeze page, especially when you're running solo as traffic. And already in my training, I've shown you guys how to design a very simple looking yet highly converting squeeze page using lead pages. If you're talking about the responsiveness of the leads. Now, I have also given you guys different links in the description box below this video. One of them will be my own solo as clicks, whereby I'm providing two different packages. If you click on the link below this video in the description box, you will reach my solo as sales page. Now, this is where I'm providing you guys with two different packages, one of which will be a 95% tier one country's premium traffic. The other one will be a 100% USA buyer only premium traffic. All right. So the thing that differentiates my solo as clicks with the rest of the vendors is now, guys, it is not cheap to get USA traffic. All right. This is a fact in the marketplace. The reason is because most of the online buyers come from the United States alone. All right. So everybody is squeezing their head to try to find USA buyers. So that's the reason why for my 100% USA buyers to only premium traffic, I'm charging 85 cents per click. Now, on top of that, if you are somebody who purchase a season level and above, all right, which is 500 clicks and above, I'm going to give you my free course, all right, which is worth $7 at this point in time. All right, um, this particular course, let me show you guys. All right, now this particular course, Okay, so you're going to get all these costs with all my different videos out there for free. You don't even have to invest into the $7. Okay, then at the same time, if you are getting even just 100 clicks from me, be whether it's 100% USA buyers or just 95% uh, um, tier one countries, you have the opportunity to hop on to a free Zoom session with me for me to run through your entire email marketing system. All right, these are all the value added service that I'm giving to my solo as buyers. The second link that I provided in the description box below this video is from Traffic Blade. All right. So within Traffic Blade, just click on Get Traffic. So from there, you will see things like they have the Beginners Marketers Package as well as the Expert Marketers Package. For the Expert Marketers Package, you look at it, it is definitely more expensive. Beginners Marketers Package is 100 visitors at $60. For the Expert Marketers, it's 100 visitors at $73. All right. The reason is because for the Expert Marketers Package, they are providing you with 100% tier one countries traffic. But for the beginner's marketers package, they are only providing you with 70% tier one countries. Now guys, in order to save that 13 cents, I think, or something like that, all right, per click, I would not suggest you guys to go for the beginner's marketers package because the 30% out of tier one countries, the chances of them buying any of your offer is extremely, extremely low. So please go for at least the expert marketers package. Simultaneously, I've also offered to you guys a coupon code within Traffic Blade itself. All right, just in case you are wondering, I do not have a coupon code for my own solo S clicks. All right, I do not offer any form of coupons, any form of discounts because of all the value added services that I'm giving. But for Traffic Blade, if you are going for this, let's say you go for 500 visitors, click on Get Started. So instead of $365 that you see over here, let me change this to quantity one. Update the cut. All right, so instead of $365, if you click on the coupon code and type in BJ23, all right, and click on apply coupon, instead of $365, you're going to see a discount of almost $83.95. So from there, it becomes just $281.05. Having said so, is there any guarantee that you will get sales even if you purchase my clicks or traffic-based clicks? My answer is no. 
Guys, if there's any solo ad vendors out there that tells you that I can guarantee you sales, please run. No solo ad vendors, practically speaking, can give this kind of guarantee or give this kind of promise. Because even when we run our own clicks and test our own offers, all right, there is no guarantee of getting sales unless I'm running the clicks directly focusing on just one offer. With my existing email list, definitely I can get at worst a sale or two. All right, This is the worst, 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 worst case situation. But if you're talking about just buying 500 clicks, 300 clicks, 200 clicks, 100 clicks, there is no guarantee at all, guys. Simply put, seriously, no guarantee at all. And this also comes back to whatever I mentioned to you guys before. Solo ads is not the easiest and fastest way to make money online. It's just the easiest and fastest way for you to build up your email list. So that is why you need to set up your email marketing system properly and start conducting proper email marketing campaigns to engage with your subscribers. From there, build up your buyer's list, promote your mid-ticket and high-ticket offers to get the real dole in this business. The next question, any related case study? Now, for my case, if you look at all my training videos, I do not like to showcase my results. The reason is very simple. A lot of YouTube videos, or, or, or rather I would say YouTube creators, like to showcase their results that you know they spent how much and they got how much. It unfortunately creates an illusion, or I would say a false impression that making money online is definitely very easy, which is not true. Making money online is a challenge. Yes, there are limitless possibilities of making money online. But when you are doing any business, be whether it's online business or offline businesses, there will definitely be challenges around. However, I'm going to give you a case study from my own student, which in this case, if you are residing in the United States, I'm sure that at some time, at one time or another, you might have seen his YouTube video before. And this guy is none other than John McNeil. John McNeil is also one of my one-on-one -on -one coaching member student. All right. Now, if you look at his videos or the recent videos, in fact, let me just click any one of them. Hey guys, I wanted to jump into. All right. So John actually showcased his results over here. And if I were to just fast forward the video a bit, you will see that he's using very similar layout as what I mentioned. All right. Quality traffic, squeeze page, sales page, low price point, which is low ticket sales offer. So from there, you start to embark email marketing system moving to your buyer's list and you start to send the correct emails to promote mid-ticket and high-ticket offers. Now, if I move towards the end of the video, that is where he's again promoting my very own mentorship program. All right. Now, from here, you can see certain case studies that John has showed to you guys, showed to his subscribers rather. Uh, let me just show you guys the actual name itself. All right. Just type in John McNeil. You will see his YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe to his YouTube channel as well because I know he updates videos pretty regularly. This next question comes from the second subscriber talking about he doesn't want to promote any low ticket offers that has no real value. So do I have any low ticket offers that provide good value? To this subscriber, I would like to ask you a simple question. Assuming there are two kinds of offers out there in the marketplace. One offer requires you to invest $17 and I'll teach you how to make money watching advertisements. I'll teach you how to make money watching Netflix videos. All right. The other offer is at $7, but within this $7 program, I'm going to teach you everything about setting up a proper email marketing business. Things like how to get your domain, how to authenticate your domain, where to find the cheapest uh, squeeze page builder, or rather I'll say funnel page builder. All right. Teaching you how to design step-by-step, -step, how to design all your squeeze pages, teaching how to run the traffic, where to get the traffic, how to check the statistics, how to check the data. My question to you is, based on your understanding of the current marketplace, will people go for their $17 whereby all they need to do is just to watch advertisements to make money online? Or would they rather go for their $7, which is $10 cheaper, but sharing with them all the intricacies of setting up a proper business? Now, I don't know about your experience, but from my experience, I would say more than 70-80% of them would choose the $17 to watch ads for money. But however, all these $17 program, they're telling you that, oh, you can go to Google and earn a lot of money by just typing, you know, all this kind of thing. Do they really make a lot of money for that instance? Or do they even help the buyers to make any money? So the question here is, it is really a conflict between what the consumer wants versus what the vendor is trying to propose. So if you really want to find something of good value, 
you've got to ask yourself, is your target market ready for all these good value products? Or is your target market just wanting something that is easy for me to rest on my couch, watching advertisements, at least I make a couple of dollars, that kind of thing, if it even works in the first place. So that is the reason why when it comes to promoting low ticket offers, we as business people, as email marketers, we have no choice but to promote all these kind of offers that caters to the majority, to the mass public there. So from there, two things will happen to these subscribers. One, they keep buying all these kind of products that gives them empty promises but doesn't deliver any real values and eventually they give up. And they call this whole thing a scam. The second thing that will happen is when they keep buying and keep trying and they don't see anything that works, but when they see marketers making real money online, that is where they start to realize the awakening call that something must be amiss. So what exactly am I missing out? That is where they are ready for you to provide the real actual value products by telling them that, look, making money online is definitely not easy. There's a lot of step-by-step -step procedures, guidelines, strategies that you need to follow in order to really make that money. You know what I'm saying? So as the saying goes, whenever a student is ready, a teacher appears. But if your student is not ready, just give them the candy, even though the candy might cost 50 k one day. <laughs> All right? What will happen moving forward February 2024? One of the best mentors I always share with my own coaching students is Google.com. So all you need to do is just to type in Gmail updates February 2024. You'll see a lot of different search results coming up. All right, so let me just share with you one of these links by lifehacker.com.au from Australia, this website. All right, so Gmail is adding new security measures to reduce spam emails in your inbox. Um, what, what else is there? Okay. So now Google has announced one of its many new priorities to crack down even further on spam emails with new protections coming to Gmail in 2024. Um, so things they need to do, like for example, authenticating their emails following best practices, enable receivers to unsubscribe with one click, and which must be applied within two days of the request. And this is the most important one, staying under a spam rate threshold established by Google. In a nutshell, if you are about email sender sending more than 5,000 emails at one time, you are under this purview. So for somebody like myself, whereby I have more than 100,000 email subscribers now, every time I click a send button, my emails is being sent out to more than 100,000 subscribers. Definitely, this is something that I need to move forward looking into. All right. Now, not only that, even if you currently have, um, let's say, two, 3,000 subscribers and you are sending them twice email a day, Right, you will also be subject to this particular purview. So it is definitely something that we have to move forward and think, forward thinking. What exactly Gmail wants? They want to reduce the spam rate. All right? And why is that so? Because Gmail wants all the users to stay on the platform and continue using Gmail. Business-wise, what they say is to prevent, or rather I would say reduce phishing and malware attacks. But end of the day, we all know that Gmail just want the users to feel safe staying on their platform for as long as possible, until eternity, hopefully. Okay, so people like us who are sending promotional emails, we have to be even more careful in terms of our email subject lines and our email body content to ensure that there's nothing that's misleading, all right? Nothing that's misleading to our subscribers because the moment you mislead the subscribers or you're sending unsolicited emails and they hit the spam report, once your spam rate goes up, your entire domain can flush down the drain. Not only that, it will also affect the IP that you're in within the commercial email to respond there. All right, so from there, a lot of hiccups will happen. So in order to prevent all this, we have to come up with the proper subject line, proper email body content, no misleading statements, that's it. Last question, do I have any affiliate program for my training? Now, if you guys refer to the links in the description box below this video, I have my beginners club, star club, as well as my inner circle program. Yes, I do have affiliate programs for all these different mentorship programs but they are only meant for my in-house members. When I mean in-house members, I'm referring to my own personal students, be it whether you belong to the beginners club, the star club, or the inner circle. Okay, so I do not have affiliate programs for the public. That is not my intention in the first place because what I really want to establish is students who purchased the program, gone through the program, benefited from the program, then they will have that conviction in order to promote this program like how John McNeil does it. So let me just explain a little bit since I'm over here. 
For the particular question about whether do I have any low ticket offers that provide real value, my beginners club at seven US dollars one time. If I go under check curriculum, right, you can see the number of videos that I have. Every single tick here refers to one video. Right, I, I things like email marketing, get response, CPA offers, traffic, even social media marketing. You know how to create videos from scratch, uploading to your TikTok account. How to penetrate the USA market, even if you're not based on there. What to do if your account gets shadow, shadow banned. You know, just to follow what is already proven to work. Even how to DM your prospects the right way. I also have videos talking about paid ad success secrets, especially in the area of Google Ads and as well as the Bing Ads. You know, I also talk about GTM, GA4. So this is for the Bing Ads portion. I also talk about how to create your very own digital courses and launch them online to build up your passive income even on a faster basis. All right. So all in all, there's over a hundred videos over there for just a nominal cost or I'll say investment of seven US dollars. So personally, do you think that this is a real value product? All right. So this is one of our low ticket offers. Now, for members who are inside the beginners club, so if they wish for us to set up their email marketing system for them, if you click on enroll now, so what happens is on top of the $7, we also have a one-time offer of $97, which is a done-for-you program that includes five squeeze pages, templates, 45 days of email automations, and our complete integrations with Optin Dojo, your preferred email autoresponder like GetResponse or Aweber, as well as lead pages. And from there, our support team will contact you via email provided on the further steps needed. Or if not, I myself will contact you, hop on to a Zoom call, understand where you're coming from, what are the softwares that you already use. And from there, please pass me all the login details so that our backend team can do all the integrations for you. All right. So even if you do not wish to go for this done for you program, the beginner's cost is just at $7. Typically less than the price of a McDonald's meal and you're getting more than 100 videos on the top four strategies that online marketers use. At this juncture, let me elaborate a bit about my own affiliate program. Now, if you belong to the Beginners Club, you will enjoy 30% commission across all different levels of mentorship program. Which means if you belong to the Beginners Club and you manage to refer someone to join the inner circle, you will get 30% of this 2997. Same thing, if you refer someone to join the Star Club, you'll get 30% of 197 monthly, right? provided the person continue the subscription every single month. So this is also a way for you to form up your passive income. Now, if you belong to the Star Club, all right, and you refer someone to join the Bingers Club, Star Club, or Inner Circle, you'll get 40%. For Inner Circle, if you refer anyone to join the Beginners Club, Star Club, or Inner Circle, you'll get 50%. Not only that, for my Inner Circle, I also have a surprise for you guys which includes things like a team bonus of $5,000 one, one off, all right, which is on top of all the 50% that you are getting. Okay. And I also have a second tier commission for you guys. So all the details are within the inner circle itself to be explained. I know this video is kind of long, but I'm trying my best to explain everything to the fullest that I can. If you have any questions for any other subscribers, feel free to comment in this video below and I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Hi there guys, this is Benjamin here and welcome to how to make money using solo ads common FAQ part 6. In today's training video, I'm going to address one of the very interesting questions that's being posed by one of my subscribers over here, whereby he messaged me on Facebook via Messenger on how exactly do I do relationship building with my raw email list. Now, in short, I do not do any form of relationship building with my raw email list. If you guys have been following my training videos via my channel, you will notice that I always separate the list into these four main categories. Your raw email list, your bias list C, bias list B, as well as your bias list A. So I only do relationship building via sending certain value added emails to my bias email list, but not to my raw list. Because what I want to do is to siphon away who are the buyers to build up my bias list. All right. So from there, that is where I commence my relationship building, so and so forth. And all these strategies are being shared within my Inner Circle program, which you can access via the link in the description box below this video so that you have a better understanding of how exactly I train my Inner Circle members. Now, speaking of which, this subscriber, I believe, has just recently enrolled into the Beginners Club and welcome into my Beginners Club mentorship program. Having said so, another thing that I want to share in this training video is how exactly to use the Matt Beckett 16,000 email swipes. In case you guys are not aware of what exactly I'm talking about, if you go to any of my videos in my YouTube channel, right, especially the more recent ones, 
Under the description box, click on more. Scroll down, you will see this thing called get 16,000 email swipes here. The link is over here, so click on that. So this is where it will send you into this sales page of Matt Beckett's. All right, so according to what he said, I just paid 16,000 for these swipes that has earned him $2 million. All right, so you can have them for peanuts if you are super fast. So scrolling down all the way this page, you will see that this price point is currently at just $11.78 US dollars. All the swipes within Matt Beckett's program is definitely very critical very useful, especially if you are sending emails to your raw email list and even to your buyer's email list if you know how to use them well. And over the past few days since I recommend this particular Matt Becker 16K email swipes to you guys, I have gotten quite a huge surge in terms of my affiliate sales. And thank you so much for those of you guys who have purchased this swipe via my affiliate link. So this particular video is dedicated to you guys that have just recently purchased the swipe. And I'm going to share with you in details how exactly to use this swipe when you are sending your emails to your raw email list. All right, so I have taken the liberty to abstract some of the emails directly from that huge chunk of email swipes that you can see over here, all right? This particular screen here. All right, let me just pull it out. Under the 5421 emails, okay, when you download the whole program, you will see that there's 16K email swipes and the 5421 emails. So double click on 5421 emails, you will see an entire list of email swipes for you to use. And honestly, guys, until now, you know, since I've gotten hold of this entire email swipes and I start doing all my email marketing business using his swipes, I have not even gone through every single thing yet. So can you imagine how valuable this $11 investment is? Now, let me just go back into some of the swipe that I've gotten out. Okay, so for this particular swipe, the subject line is absolutely incredible. If you can see the pop-up once I hover my mouse over to that tab there. All right, subject line is absolutely incredible. Now, if you look at this particular swipe, let's take a look. Subject line, now what I mentioned just now, absolutely incredible. The body content is, James tapped into something absolutely incredible. You have never seen something like this before. He will show you how you can open up a world that you have never imagined. Believe me when I tell you that what he's going to share, or rather what he's going to present to you is like nothing you have ever seen. Do not miss this one time, or rather do not miss this special one time only training that I'm going to put up. So your link will go over here. However, this email swipe doesn't end here. It will continue scrolling down all the way. Now, it ends up that this swipe becomes too long. And like what I mentioned to you guys before, when you're sending emails to your raw email list and promoting all the low-ticket offers, please do not send a grandfather, grandmother story. All right? They will not have the patience to read it. It is not like your buyer's email list because when your buyers purchase certain program via your affiliate link, that is where you are sending them a thank you email, of course, because you know who are your buyers. So from there, you are already starting to build a no like trust. So even if your emails is slightly longer, it's fine because they will read it. You know what I'm saying? They have committed dollars and cents based on your recommendations, but not to your raw email list. So the way I will use this swipe is this. I'm going to cut this entire swipe into a few parts. So my first part will be, I will not use this first sentence. All right. I will straight away start my email with, you have never seen something like this before. He will show you how you can open up a world that you have never imagined. Believe me when I tell you that what he's going to present to you is like nothing you have ever seen. Do not miss this one, uh, sorry, do not miss this special one time only training that I'm going to put up. Followed by the link. Period. This is the first swipe, or rather, this is going to be one of the email automation or email broadcasts that you can use. All right, with the same subject line, absolutely incredible. Second broadcast or second email body content that you can use is if you were to scroll down all the way, you will notice that they have certain things like, this is going to put you no word of a lie about five years ahead of other marketers. Trust me on this. Do not miss this special presentation that I have put together. So for followed by, this presentation is on Wednesday, May 5th, or rather Wednesday, May 25th at 8 p.m. EST, this particular line, I will not put it into my email at all. All right? So I will start off with saying, this is going to put you no word of a lie about five years ahead of other man marketers all the way until here. This will be my second email. So if you look at Matt Beckett's swipes, some of his swipes are long. However, do not just dismiss the entire thing because the swipe is long. 
go through the swipe properly, you will be able to abstract certain paragraphs out. And from there, you will know and ask yourself, in fact, this question, if you are going to send this email to a subscriber, will it be able to arouse their curiosity to open the email first, all right, which is based on the subject line. Absolutely incredible. Definitely good. Email body content, does it arouse them any form of curiosity to click on the link? If it does, this is a good email swipe that you can copy and put it into your own email marketing business. Let's take a look at another one. Subject line, a friend hit me up. Content, I got hit up yesterday by a friend about sharing a six-step formula on his best seller summit happening in a few weeks. So I decided to do a live online event this Thursday so you hear it first before they ever get a chance to. Now, if you look at this entire swipe, this swipe is not suitable if you are sending generic emails because this particular swipe already disclosed things like the content or rather the topic of the content, best seller summit. Plus, he also mentioned that he's going to do a live online event. You know, if, you, if you're just going to send this email out and promote something on Warrior Plus or ClickBank, which is low ticket, like what I stress again, it will not be congruent with the actual sales page. Let's take a look at the third one. A dirty leader secret about me. Recently, one of my employees, past employees, was caught on camera saying these dirty leader secrets. Don't tell anyone. Now, this is something that seems like it's able to arouse curiosity. However, based on my personal testing, when you use this kind of subject line, it actually re reduces the open rate. Now, the reason is, it's not that it does not arouse curiosity, but somehow or rather, nowadays, when you send a subject line that looks like this, a dirty little secret about me, people tend to feel that this is something which is related to, you know, um, sexual or pornography, you know, that kind of thing. So they will not want to even open up this email. Not to mention, if in your body content, you even put something like, one of my past employees was caught on camera saying these dirty little secrets. So it makes it even worse. Even though your subscribers might recognize your name after you've been sending the emails for quite some time, but it is not going to help with your open rates and creature rates. Let's look at the next one. 25 minutes a day. If you want to grab your small share of the 750 million pie using just free traffic and never selling a thing, please check this. Now, this particular email swipe is also not suitable, all right? It is not suitable for you to send as a generic email swipe. Why? Because over here, you mentioned to them that this is going to be a free traffic. Now, remember I mentioned one thing. Unless your program that you're trying to promote is about free traffic, okay? It's about free traffic and really never needing to sell a single thing. If not, don't use this swipe because you're just going to mislead your subscriber. And when this happened, now what I mentioned several times again, coming February 2024, Gmail is going to step up in terms of their spam control. So if your domain spam rate threshold surpass what Gmail is able to accept, that is where your domain can literally flush down the drain. All right, so we're not going to send this kind of misleading um, body content because end of the day, you're always changing the offers based on the central command system, which is a third-party tracking software, Optin Dojo, that we use. So it is really not viable, not advisable, in fact, to use this kind of swipe that talks very specific content about what exactly it is. In this case, free traffic. All right, let's look at, let's look at the other one. Five hours left. I'm taking it down forever in five hours. Go here right now. Link goes here. This page is going away tonight at midnight PD. Now, this email swipe, you can use it as a generic swipe. Why? Because end of the day, you are not the product vendor. You are the email marketer. So perhaps after sending this particular email, this is going to be the last email that you just want to scale this offer. All right, so from then on, for at least for a couple of days or even a few weeks down the road, you're not going to promote this particular plan anymore. You know what I'm saying? So that is where you can use something like this to create a sense of urgency. Next, promoting tips. Are you making this huge mistake? Now, this is a very, very good subject line. All right, very, very good subject line. It will definitely boost your open rates. However, the problem with this is the entire body content is too long. It's too long to send to your raw list. Okay, but let's analyze this body content. 
Now, in the last message, you learn why it's important for you to follow up with your potential customers and existing customers and how you can develop a better relationship with those customers. But the truth is, most people aren't doing this and the people that are following up aren't doing it right. Third paragraph, developing a relationship that feels like a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship to your customers is the secret that will give you success that will make your competitors envious. Now, if you look at these entire three paragraphs, excellent copywriting, I would say, because you are relating. You When, when a subscriber actually read this email, it feels like someone is talking to them face-to-face. -face. You know what I'm saying? So these kind of paragraphs, you can abstract and put it into your arsenal of inventories, all right? Which means say your arsenal of potential email swipes, and stand by to use them for your buyer's email list. Next example. Okay, the subject line is um, over here, my simple secret, all right? So here's my simple secret for you. Traffic equals to money, seriously. If you can get more of it, you can get more money. So go here to finally get more traffic to your website. Again, is the program that you are promoting talking about traffic? If the program you are promoting is an AI software, which has literally nothing to do with traffic, can you imagine how disturbed your subscriber feel when they read the email? Then after that, they say, click on it and they see that this is something totally unrelated to your content. So this is not a generic email swipe again. Next, private invitation. I just put this video up and it contains a private invitation just for you. Watch it here right now. Please don't share this with anyone. Excellent swipe. In fact, this is one of my better converting ones, All right, both in terms of the open rates as well as the body content click to rates. Next, are you joining us? Hope you can join us on an incredible one-of-a-kind webinar. The moment I see this paragraph, I know that this swipe is potentially unusable. I can't use it anymore. Because this particular swipe, Matt Beckett has prepared it to send to his subscribers to attend certain webinars. Next, private. These secrets are exclusive. You won't find a million and one marketers using it. Put a link over there. Excellent swipe. Simple. Now, you might be puzzled. Ben, this body content, isn't it too short? Just one paragraph. Yes, end of the day, it's all about testing. Remember, I always say when it comes to email marketing, test and test and test. All right, last example, two hours left. Hi, so and so forth, the subscriber's name. I want to say a final courtesy reminder, you know, the vendor's name, or you can say this will be closing the high profit, uh, sorry, the high profit Facebook group mentorship program to new members. That's in less than two hours. Click below to lock in your spot before this once in a lifetime opportunity disappears. This particular swipe gives me very mixed feelings. Number one, subject line, two hours left. What if your subscribers open the email like a few days later? They might not even want to click on it anymore because I think by then they already know. This email, I received it almost four days ago. Today that I saw it, I think this offer is gone. They might not even want to open it. But if you look at the body content, this particular line is very interesting. Click below to lock in your spot before this once in a lifetime opportunity disappears. So what you can do by using the swipe properly is to cut certain sentences that you like about the swipe, okay? Especially those that resonates with how you feel when you see this sentence and you believe that it is something that will intrigue your subscribers to click the links in your email. So in a nutshell, this is how I would use Matt Becker's email swipes, all right? From there, remember to analyze every single swipe and there are too many swipes. Like what I say, over the years, I have not even finished looking through the, all the swipes yet. The next thing that I'd like to talk about with you guys is I understand that quite a fair bit of you guys have actually subscribed to Optin Dojo via my affiliate link. But interestingly, some of you guys have not yet booked my free Zoom session to discuss with you about how to set up your Optin Dojo properly. All right, guys. Now, don't worry. This is a no obligation Zoom session. All right. If you're worried that I'm going to sell you my mentorship program, don't bother about that because a lot of my existing members, in fact, I don't even sell them my mentorship program. You can always check with any of my students. What I usually do is I showcase my mentorship program. You make the decision because I believe that you are an adult and you know how to make proper responsible decisions on your own. There's no need for me to hard sell you anything. All right. In case you're not aware of how exactly to find my email so that you can contact me for these free Zoom sessions after you have actually subscribed to Optin Dojo via my affiliate link. So what you can do is please visit my main channel page, all right? So from there, click on the About, and you will see my email address over here for business inquiries, view email address, and this is where you can contact me by sending this email, all right? So I check my email very regularly. In fact, 
almost every few minutes, every few hours, I'm checking my emails because I'm constantly receiving new emails. All right, guys. So please make full use of this since you have already subscribed to Opting Dojo via my affiliate link. Thank you very much. I want to make sure that you really know how to exploit the fullest potential of this third-party tracking software. And pardon me that I'm not going to do any form of training videos for Optin Dojo via this YouTube channel because there's no point if you guys do not have this software and you will just get confused along the way when I talk about it. All right, so I'll see you guys in tomorrow's training video whereby we're going to talk more about different questions that's being posted to me or at the same time, different questions being posted on various platforms. See you there. Hi there guys, this is Benjamin here and welcome to how to make money using SoloX Common FAQ Part 7. Now in today's video, I'm going to cover a very interesting topic and the most common questions that a lot of students, be it whether subscribers or my paid students, will always ask me, Ben, which SoloX vendor is the best traffic source? So in today's video, I'm going to cover all the different components or considerations I would say when choosing the so-called best SoloX vendor. So, topic of today's discussion, solo as purchase, things to look out for. First and foremost will be the delivery start date and the time, or the start day and the time. Now, why is this whole thing important? Because this is also related to the second concern, which is the delivery process time. In this case, what I'm going to say is, let's say you order X number of clicks from this particular solo ad vendor, how long does he or she need in order to fulfill all these clicks? Guys, you might be wondering, why is the delivery start date and time as well as the process time important when you are choosing a solo ad vendor? The reason is because one of the many ways that you can use to reduce the cost of your advertising or rather your solo ad purchase is by competing for new launches on especially Warrior Plus platforms. Once again, let's refer to MarchEye.com and check for all the new launches. As at today's recording is based on November 4th, GMT plus 8 because I'm based in Singapore. Let's take a look at this product. It's going to be launched soon by Flank on Miracle AI, retailing at $17 and commission 50% for the front end. So clicking on this particular offer, now let's click on JV page. All right, for most of the established launches out there in the marketplace, they always have this thing called an affiliate contest. So on the menu bar over here, if you click on prices, you will see the details pertaining to the affiliate contest. In this case, they have two different contests. First and foremost will be from November 4th, 10 a.m. EST to November 7th, 11.59 p.m. EST. First price, $1,500. Second price, $300. Third price, $100. All right. Now, please look at this disclaimer. To receive any price, you have to earn commissions equals to the price money or else you will be moved to the next price available and there's no teams allowed. What do they mean by this? Because when it comes to affiliate new launches contests, sometimes they have things like individual contests as well as team contests. For team contests, that is where you can partner with different affiliates and enroll into the team contest as a team. All right. So in this case, this will be an individual contest. At the same time, your commission must be at least $1,500. And at the same time, you are placed as a number one position in this entire contest period, which is from November 4th all the way to November 7th, all right? And you will then be able to achieve this 1,500 additional prize money, all right? The same goes for second place and third place. Now, the second period that they have will be from November 7, 10 a.m. EST, all the way to November 8, 11.59 p.m. EST. So again, first price $1,005, second price $300, third price $100. Okay, as you can see, the badges that they use, very nice looking here. Gold, silver, and bronze. So the same terms and conditions apply. So guys, let's say if you wish to participate in all these contests, the most important thing that you need is to run a huge quantity of clicks in order to ensure that you have at least a chance of earning the first, second, or the third place prizes. All right? So especially if you're running for first place prize, I was there to say that the minimum number of clicks that you need to run is at least three to 5,000 clicks, all right? Three to 5,000 clicks. And I'm not talking about three to 500 clicks. I'm talking about three to 5,000 clicks. Now, then that is where you at least have a certain level of chance in order to win all these content prizes. So let's say you intend to order three to 5,000 clicks from Udemy. Okay, let's say this particular solo ad vendor. Now I'm using him as an example. I'm not saying that I'm recommending you guys to purchase from him. But let me just use this as an example, like what I emphasize. 
So if you scroll under buy solo, you will see that based on 1,000 or rather 900 clicks that they have, all right, which they will split into two different orders, which means one order with 450 clicks, second order 450 clicks. Now, it, this doesn't really matter in terms of how many orders they do. End of the day, they will just fulfill the 900 clicks at one go for you. Okay, but let's take a look at the delivery date, 6th of November to 7th of November. So if we go back again to the contest price, based on that, if the delivery date is between 6th to the 7th of November, you are already missing out on the potential sales that you could get on the 4th and the 5th of November, assuming you are not having any form of email list at this point in time, or you do not intend to blast this offer to your existing email list. That means to say you are using all the brand new traffic to run for this contest. So in this example, this particular date will not be feasible for you to run for this contest, all right? But you can run for this second contest, which is from November 7th to November 9th. Now, of course, the best situation is the three to 5,000 clicks that you have is able to run from the 4th all the way to the 9th of November so that you are able to fight for these two different windows of contest prizes. And there is definitely a chance that you can earn the first place over from this period and as well as the first place from this period. So that means you'll be earning a total of additional 3,000 US dollars of bonuses. So this is the reason why when you are choosing your solo as vendors to purchase and you are intending to run for contests, your delivery start day and time is definitely very important. All right. At the same time, your delivery process time is also definitely important because remember the window is from the 4th all the way to the 9th, so which is within a period of like five days. Now, if this vendor is unable to fulfill all your clicks within five days and it's taking like um, two weeks or even three weeks to fulfill all the clicks, you are again losing out on the contest window period. The third thing that we'll look out for when you're purchasing solo ads is flag or bot clicks. When it comes to a flag or bot clicks, it is definitely also possible that sometimes vendors will deliver a certain percentage of bot or flag clicks. It's not that they intentionally do it like that, but rather there could be certain spam bots emails within their entire email list. So that is the reason why we need a third-party tracking software like Optin Dojo, and you can refer to the link in the description box below if you wish to subscribe for Optin Dojo. And from there, with the statistics, you will be able to see how many are real clicks in terms of the percentage-wise and what is the percentage of flat or bot clicks. If your percentage of flat or bot clicks is pretty high, anything above 5%, 10%, please do a screenshot, approach the solo ad vendor that you purchased the traffic from and request for a rerun of the traffic or request for a total refund. The fourth thing that I will consider is the price point of the clicks. At this juncture, if you are thinking that, oh, Ben is going to talk about price point, he's going to show us who are the cheapest solo ad vendor, think twice. Guys, one of the things that a lot of experienced solo ad buyers will always ask the solo ad vendors is, where is the source of traffic that you have built up your existing email list? Now, at this point in time, the most precious, I will say, raw traffic will come from paid advertising such as places like Facebook ads, Google ads. But this is assuming you know how to run all this ads campaign, all right? However, let's say you are an expert in terms of running all these campaigns. Let's now take a look at how much exactly does Google ads cost in 2023 in terms of their CPC, which is their cost per click. Now, of course, all this will depend on the industry that you are in, all right? However, the average across all industries, let's take a look at this CPC. $4.22, guys, we are talking about USD over here, all right? which is the common universal currency that we use whenever we talk about make money online ventures. Now, in terms of industry-wise, let me scroll down a little bit here. You'll see all the average CPC based on their industries. If we look at in terms of make money online, right? usually it falls under things like finance and insurance, or it can fall under business services, or you can even fall under things like personal services, depending if you're a coach. So let's take a look at these three different categories. Personal services, $3.90. Business services, $5.47. Finance and insurance, $4.01. Ask yourself a very simple question, guys. If you are a solo ad vendor, whereby you build your email list solely, all right, I'm saying solely from Google Ads traffic, and your CPC, which is your cost per click, on average is about $4.50. And now you wish to become a solo ad vendor, do you think you will charge anything below $4.50? That's not possible, am I right? Why am I bringing this thing up? Because a lot of solo ads buyers, when they are looking for solo ads sellers, they are always looking for those which provides the cheapest price. Like for example, 10 cents, you know, or 15 cents or 20 cents. Now guys, the price comes with a compromise. 
you have to ask yourself, are you prepared to compromise the quality of your email list in exchange for the cheaper price clicks? That is something that you really have to consider very carefully. Okay? So if you're looking for things like 100% USA traffic, you can always refer to the link in the description box below whereby I sell my own clicks from my email list which is made up of leads coming from Facebook ads, Google ads, as well as solo ads purchase. All right, so from there, my average cost per click that I'm selling for USA traffic at this point in time is 85 cents. It used to be 75 cents, but I realized that my CPC, all right, my cost actually went up. So that's the reason why I have to increase my cost per click whenever I sell it back to the public. Now, the last thing that I would consider is the email's responsiveness. Unless you only buy from one solo ad vendor for the rest of your life, then there's no need for you to use a tracking software like Optin Dojo in order to test the effectiveness of your solo ads list. What I mean by email responsiveness, I'm not talking about whenever you send out an email, what's the open rate of the email, what's the click rate of the email, but rather individual solo ads vendors in terms of their email's responsiveness, which is their open rates and their click rates. If this particular solo ad vendor, over a period of one month after I've sending out all these emails, is giving me an open rate of less than 10%, click-through rate of less than 0.2% or 0.3%. Now, trust me, I will not go for this solo ad vendor anymore because I know that the leads that is being provided by this solo ad vendor is of very low quality. All right, so from there, I will know who to choose subsequently after testing different solo ad vendors. Now, guys, in conclusion, those are all the different factors that I would consider whenever I make my own solo ad purchase. So if you ask me, back to the original question of today's training video, Ben, who is the best solo ad traffic provider? Who is the best converting solo ad seller? All right, I can tell you, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. And no one in the industry would ever boldly or even dare to say that, hey, I know that this person or that person is the best solo ad traffic provider. In fact, being a solo ad traffic provider myself, I wouldn't even dare to say I'm the best in the marketplace. All right, there's no such thing over here. And day, it all depends on your own testing. Okay, however, I have streamlined, all right? I've already streamlined different solo vendors for you to test. If you register again via the link in the description box below this video for a free Udemy account, you can see my recommended sellers within the Udemy platform. I have also this particular option called Traffic Blade. And if you use my coupon code, you will enjoy a 23% discount of all these prices, as well as my own solo as clicks. All right, so I've limited your wide selection of thousands of solar vendors out in the marketplace to just this few that you can test. Of course, you are free to test any other solar vendors outside whatever I'm recommending. It's just that I myself have tested different solo vendors and I streamlined into just this few. All right, guys, I hope you have benefited from today's session. Now, again, for those people who have subscribed to Optin Dojo via my affiliate link, please contact me via my email for a non obligatory free Zoom session for me to share with you how to best use your opt-in dojo to maximize the ROI of your email business. Okay, guys, so see you in the next recording.